How you doing? It's Adi here. Today I'm going through another little tutorial thing. If you're like me, in your technological career, at some point you've run into HDCP and you want to get rid of it. You want to record something that has HDCP and you cannot get around it. Stuff like Blu-rays maybe. Maybe you need to record a Blu-ray for some kind of video you're making. Well, if you're like me, you probably have something like an Elgato. And you want to use this to record your Blu-rays, right? Or your PS3, which has a Blu-ray player, HDCP, right? As you know, if you have one of these, or basically any kind of capture card that uses HDMI, it's not going to work. It is got the protection and will not bypass it or strip it in any way. That's why they give you things like this for components. But what if your options are only to use HDMI? like myself. I, what do you do? Well, by picking up some things from Monoprice, you can actually get around the HDCP. You can bypass it, strip it, whatever you want to call it. So pick up these and you can get past it. So let's get into the equipment that you're going to need to actually get past all this crap and get into actually recording some stuff. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is my actual Blu-ray player itself. As you can see, it's just a uh, RCA Blu-ray player, just standard. But the thing you need to see is the back. Now, as you can see, it's got like the power, uh, and then right here it has all the, um, the ports for the speakers, and then it's got USB in, it's got aux out or aux in, my bad, aux in, video out, an optical in, HDMI out, and then a LAN port. But if you notice, <laughs> there's no other audio out. The only audio out is this and the HDMI out. So I had to figure out a way <laughs> to get sound to come from this and get trans transmitted to HDMI to DVI, which DVI doesn't have sound, and then have the audio come from coming from this to get to my Elgato somehow. So that's where the HDMI splitter and my monitor came into play. So let's take a look at the monitor first. Okay, so here's my monitor. It's the Asus VH236H, the MLG monitor, whatever you want to call it. But uh, here's the back, and I'll try and show you this. Okay, so if I flip it over, you can see it has HDMI in on the left there, it has DVI, VGA, it has audio in, not out, and then an optical, SPDIF, out. Those are all the inputs right there. So what I did <laughs> was I was smart and I utilized this. So I got an optical cable and the converter box has optical in. So what I did was used a splitter to split from my Blu-ray player to go to here and then the other end is the DVI transfer cable from HDMI to DVI and that goes into the actual converter. So now I'm going to show you the splitter and I'll show you the converter. Okay, so this is the HDMI splitter. It's really, really small, um, which I like. It's got the you know, the uh, current, the power current, you know, right here. Here's the input for HDMI. It's got two outputs. And it has little, little tiny lights right here and here that show green when there's actually an output. But, uh, yeah, this <laughs> and this is really good quality. It's monoprice. Everything is monoprice pretty much. That I'm going to be showing you. Um, but yeah, here is the box. Here's the box for it. Um, so you can see exactly what I bought, and here's the number MPSP08. Um, that's the, the model number. It's a very nice box that it came in. Um, it's got like magnets for the, the opening. Here's where the, the DC power current cable was, and then in here where the actual splitter was, and there's nothing underneath. Just box, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Splitter works very well. Uh, tried it out and it works. So here it is again. 
But anyways, what happens is the input is the one that's coming from my Blu-ray. So I plug in Blu-ray, HDMI, it goes into here. One of these goes out and changes to DVI. One of them goes into my monitor. So now I'm going to show you the actual converter box. Okay, so here's the converter itself. It's monoprice HDMI converter. Uh, the front has power, input, output, and they shine red whenever it's on. Um, the cable I have plugged in is the actual power, which you can see here. And then here's the back, the important part. Um, this side is input, got SPDIF, coax, and DVI. And then the output has HDMI, SPDIF, and coax also. So, that's the actual converter, and this thing actually does strip away HDCP. I tried it yesterday and it works. Um, but yeah, here's the box that it came in. It's <laughs> very plain, actually, which I was like, what? But, uh, DVI plus audio to HDMI converter. And uh, here's the model number, I'm guessing, HDC310. It does say mono price on it down there. Sorry if my camera's being blurry, but anywho. Um, it opens up the same way as the other one's got like a magnet type lid. That's what it looks like when you uh, open it. So yeah, there's the box. Then the other things you're going to need are an HDMI to DVI, which this is an Amazon Basic I got my friend, from my friend David. There's a DVI side and HDMI. So you need that. And then you'll also need a coax cable, which I got from Monoprice. Um, so yeah, that's what you'll need. Now I'm going to actually like plug in everything and show you just exactly what I'm talking about of how I made it work with my Elgato. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I have it set up to where I can actually get my Blu-ray player to get past the HDCP and actually work and record. So, um, yeah. Anywho, first we're going to start with uh, the Blu-ray. Okay, so the Blu-ray out is the yellow. HDMI, okay? So it comes out and it goes into the splitter that I showed you, that I have. Okay, then one output is the orange. The orange goes to the monitor. Cool. So it's got audio and a video. Then the other out is the converter from HDMI to DVI, which is that. Now, this coax right here, which has the audio, is coming from the monitor. You can see here's the cable. Uh, if it'll focus. Here's the cable. You can kind of see it. But it goes down here. So that's where it's getting audio. Then the out is the HDMI. The out goes to the Elgato. The Elgato goes to the computer. <laughs> and there it is. So now I'm going to test it with an actual Blu-ray. So, you can see, this is Blu-ray. Cora, cool. So, I'm going to put it in now. That's what she said. And we'll see what happens. So, here we go. Place that in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn down the surround sound. And we'll just have the audio come from the computer. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is on the monitor. Right here. But there's no sound. I have the sound muted on the surround sound. Then if you come over here, on the computer, you can hear it and see it just fine. So, um, yeah, I could even go, see if I can go full screen, see if it'll let me. I know there's a way I can do it. Oh well. But yeah, you can see there, and all I have to do is hit record right there, and boom. Got past the protection. So, hope this has helped you guys, and, um... Once again, you'll just need that little box 
And if you have a problem with uh, getting audio like I did, because I don't have another audio source coming out of my Blu-ray player, then you use coax coming out of your TV or monitor, and works just fine. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time.